what is going on everybody welcome back to another video we're gonna go uh, do some trail camera checking today uh, this first one we're gonna check is my dad's he's got a salt lick here so I figured it might be a pretty good one to check and we got one in the back to go check and then we're gonna go to another property and check a camera that I've had out uh, for about a month now so should be lots of pictures to go through hopefully and uh, yeah so we'll see what happens I guess all right there's the first camera there's our salt look the mineral block actually it's not really much of a salt look so. Now I believe he was just here and checked this one uh, last week, I believe. So I'm gonna plug this into the computer and uh, we'll see what's on here. Looks like we have our first deer there. Obviously can't tell what it is. Let's see a whole lot of activity on here. More butts of deer there and there. Lots of squirrels. And there's my father. So yeah, not not the uh, the activity that I thought would be on this camera. We'll leave her out for some more. I turn her back on. Let's see, on, it's gonna start counting down. Okay. Well, I guess we will head to the back, go check that camera. That camera, I think, has been out since beginning of January. So, we'll go check that one, to see if there's anything good on it. I'm just kind of walking around right now, just peeking for any sheds or anything. Um, just in case maybe a buck walked through and dropped a shed or something. Alright, well, I don't see any sheds. So we're going to hop in the truck and go for a little ride to the back of the property. Alright, just pulled up to spot number two. I'm gonna go in here, check this camera. This one, uh, kind of, I'm assuming the batteries are probably dead in it. Just because it, uh, it's been out for so long. So, I'm excited to see what's in it though. There is my tree stand. I don't think I got to show you guys that. We'll come back and see that then. So, I have the trail camera like really, really close to uh, my tree stand. My, my camera's gone. Somebody stole my camera. Ain't that just peachy? You gotta be kidding me. It's just gone. I had it on this tree right here. And she's straight up gone. And who knows, like, when this got stolen, because I've had it out for so long. And, and I, like above all, I had a lock on it. So I mean, the lock's nowhere to be found. Not that you know, the chance of me finding a lock if they cut it and threw it. That's really disheartening. Ay 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 ay. I can't believe that, guys. 
that was the camera that I was most excited about to go check. And she gone. I thought those locks I had were so good too, like I mean, I know they're nothing fancy, but I thought they were pretty good locks. <sighs> well, I guess I guess I'll go show you guys my tree stand quick. God, that sucks. I was so looking forward to showing you guys that camera. A month of sitting out, it had to have had something, something on it. <sighs> well. It sucks. Really, really sucks. So, what the hell? My tree stand's been messed with too. Where's my, so normally there's a bar that goes across here, from here to the tree or somewhere on here. Looks like they cut my safety straps off. The bar's gone. Who knows where the hell that went. <sighs> and it looks like they cut holes in my seats. Yeah, it looks like they climbed up there and cut holes in my seat. <sighs> Man. I'll tell you guys, people suck. All right, let's see if I can climb this with one hand. I will tell you what, it is rickety. My seat's out. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know why this thing's so stinking rickety. And it looks like they cut the lock on the tree on the tree stand too. So I don't see it. Yeah. It's gone. So I'm willing to bet they were gonna steal the tree stand. And when I put this up, it was sketch, like big sketch. They probably undid the stuff up top here to steal it along with the lock and realized down here that red ratchet strap is what, that, that's the only thing that's holding this tree stand up right now is that red ratchet strap. And I'm willing to bet that scared the crap out of them to, to take it down because it scared the crap out of me putting this damn thing up. I was hoping one day my kid would shoot his first deer out of this tree stand. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's, that's heartbreaking. I think I can fix the seats though. Um, enough duct tape or something. You know, you can fix just about anything. I mean, thank God this didn't happen. Or thank God, you know, I didn't have my kid with me or go to climb this and sit and fall. I mean, you could die from this. Literally, the only thing holding this tree stand up right now is one ratchet strap on the bottom of the platform. So I'm gonna get down carefully here. That is really disheartening. Ah, oh, man, does that suck. Camera, tree stand. Like I said, I think I can fix the tree stand. Camera, obviously, that's gone. There's no finding that. And I mean, it's gotta be a hunter who did, who did this, I mean. Joe Schmo, who goes for a walk in the woods? You know, other than like a nature trail or something. Joe Schmo ain't doing that. So this was, this was another hunter. I don't know, pissed off hunter, I guess. I, like I said, I think I can fix the tree stand if I tape those seats up pretty well. I think so. And I can always restrap the tree stand to the tree. I should think about moving a lock back on it. I don't know. 
feel like I should though, just to be safe. Oh, well, not shaping up to, uh, to be the day I'd hoped for. I do have one more trail camera, as long as it's not gone, uh, that we can go check. Um, if anybody else has a better lock than the ones I use, please, for the love of God, let me know. Comment down below what you guys use. I was using a Master Lock Python. I've had other people mess with my cameras before. And it kept them at bay. I mean, I know nothing's 100% when you're talking about, you know, if someone wants something enough, they're gonna get it. <sighs> it just sucks, that sucks. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to the truck. <sighs> and I will see you at the next property. All right, got to spot number two to check camera number three. <sighs> and maybe with any luck, we'll find a deer shed. I don't know if my dad's been down here shed hunting at all but we got a pretty solid walk in here it's probably all together as a crow flies not that far but we it's a winding around to get to uh this spot so maybe we'll stumble across the deer shed all right oh well, i'm happy to report this trail camera is still here this is like big time bedding Get this camera opened up and we'll get to checking her. All right, we got our first set of deer. I know it's not focusing, but there's a deer there. There's one there. There's a bunch of deer. There's a buck. Not too bad. There's a boatload. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. There's seven deer there. Seven. Yeah, it's loaded. There's a buck. That's good. I'm going to sign off. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, wasn't the greatest thing in the world because someone still my trail camera and it also looks like someone's riding a four-wheeler out here we're gonna have to get to the bottom of that one too it sure as hell looks like someone's riding a four-wheeler down this trail here we'll get them so thank you guys if you could please leave a like on the video comment down below what you think uh, don't forget to let me know if there's any alternatives to locking up your cameras uh, what else I think that's it hope you guys have a good day good evening good morning whatever you're doing right now thank you so much for watching until then I'll see you guys next time peace